Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I've got some great questions for you from the 2020 NEC code. The first one is, what in the world are these shaded areas in the code book? What does that mean? That's the first question. And as you're reading through the code book, you might see a period symbol. What does that mean? And when you're reading through the code book, you might find a delta symbol. What in the world is that for? And then you might find an indented note with slightly smaller type. What's that? What is, what is that for? What does that mean? Then you might find this N symbol. What in the world is that for? And the last but not least, you might find an area in italics. So those are your six questions. Shaded areas, period symbol, delta symbol, indented note with smaller type, an N symbol, that's a capital N, and italics. So if you can get all six of those right, you qualify, if you like, to win six Sparky Channel stickers. I'll leave an uh, email address in the video description. And just on the honor system, if you get them all right, you can write to me. And the, the first five winners will get a letter from me with six Sparky Channel stickers in it. I know it's not that huge, but it's something. Let's get into it. Let's find out if you got these right or not. Shaded text equals revisions. So for the 2020 NEC, if you see a shaded text, something has been revised in that area. The period that you see right here before Article 504.3 means section deletions. So something right before Article 504.3 has been deleted, and that little period alerts you to that situation. The delta symbol means text deletions and figure slash table revisions. Notice this means text deletions, while the period means section deletions. In case you're curious, the uppercase delta symbol often means change or the change in in mathematics. The indented note with a slightly smaller text is an informational note. It's also called a fine print note, which contains explanatory material intended to clarify a rule or give assistance, but it is not a code requirement. The fine print notes often use the term may, but never shall. The shaded letter N means new material, so this alerts you that there is going to be new material here. The italicized text means this is an exception. These italicized sections provide an alternative to a specific rule. The two types of exceptions are mandatory and permissive. When a rule has several exceptions, those exceptions with mandatory requirements are listed before those written in permissive language. So how'd you guys do? Did you get all six correct? I sure hope so. If so, write me. And the first five to write me will get a six pack of Sparky Channel stickers. Also, I'll put links in my video description for the Spiral Bound NEC Codebook and the NEC Handbook. And I will put in my video description as well a link to my playlist for EMT bending. I have 24 videos on EMT bending, and I'll put a link for my playlist for NEC code videos, which there's a lot of those. I don't know how many, but there's a lot of them. So thank you very much, and I hope this video was helpful. 